1997, the Toyota Corolla became the best-selling nameplate in the world, surpassing even the Volkswagen Beetle. Toyota reached another milestone, 50 million Corollas sold over 12 generations in 2021. But as the popularity of sedans dwindled, Toyota had to move in line with current trends. And quite honestly, I don't think anyone could have done it better than they have. And ingeniously, last year, they launched the Toyota Corolla Cross. Now, they've introduced the GR Sport model. Now, the difference between the regular Toyota Corolla Cross and the GR Sport is purely cosmetic. But it's lovely, and you can pick it up immediately in the red detail all over the interior of the vehicle. There's red trim on the dash. The gear lever has red stitching detail. And the bucket seats in black perforated leather are beautifully finished with red stitching and with a GR embossed into both driver and passenger headrests. There is also a GR embroidered on the floor mats. The side view of the GR Cross is pretty much the same as the standard Cross, except for these stunning black 18-inch five-spoke split wheels. And then at the back, it's not much different, except for, of course, a GR Sport badge and a lower diffuser. As far as tech goes, it's exactly the same spec as the Cross XR. It's got Android Auto, it's got Apple CarPlay, as most vehicles do these days, but it really is a nice touch and I think they should all have it standard. Then it also has Toyota Connect Wi-Fi. It has the Toyota Safety Sense system, which is wonderful because it actually shows you when there's somebody in your blind spot. And of course it's got a rear view park uh, camera. Something that is standard across the range is the push pedal parking brake. I haven't seen this in cars for yonks. The colour setup for the GRS is two-tone, with the main colour offset by black accents. It's very pretty. As far as the drive goes, the GRS is fitted with exactly the same 1.8 petrol engine as the standard Cross, and there's nothing wrong with the power. It puts out 103 kilowatt at 6,400 RPM and produces torque of 172 Newton meters at 4,000 RPM. And it's generally a very pleasant drive. However, it's coupled to a pulley system, five speed CB transmission, not my favorite. It can take some getting used to, although Toyota has probably mastered this drivetrain best of the manufacturers. Toyota claims the GR Sport's top speed is 185 kilometers an hour. I haven't tested it, to be honest. They claim consumption of 6.8 liters to 100 kilometers, but during my week in the car, I used 8.8 .8 liters per 100 kilometers. Now, it also drives beautifully off the beaten track, and if you want to go off-road proper, don't try and do camel trophy, though. Although it's a bit disappointing that the GR Sport doesn't have the Gazoo Racing engine and chassis treatment, you can understand why when you look at the price tag. It costs 453,200 Rand, whereas the GR Yaris with the racing hardware will set you back about 300,000 Rand more. At the end of the day, it is still a Corolla, and Toyota has been very clever how it's positioned the GR Sport in the market. So if you merely want that racy vibe from the Kazoo Racing Stable, this vehicle is great. Another feature the Corolla Cross GRS has are automatic rain sensing wipers, something I absolutely love and I think it's a must. It's actually so good in terms of safety. But um, unfortunately, you're going to have to take my word for it right now. <laughs> 